What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Gino, and I review speakers and headphones so that you can make the right purchase for your situation. Today I'm reviewing the Bose Frames Audio Sunglasses. These glasses come in two different styles. The Rondo, which I am reviewing today, that has a smaller build in a round frame structure. And then of course, there is the Alto, which comes in a larger square frame. I personally bought the Bose frames from Best Buy for $200 because I believe the best review should be from someone who has a personal experience with the product. The Bose frames were released in the US six months ago and have taken the wearable audio category by storm. These sunglasses were created with the idea of combining the protection and style of premium sunglasses, the functionality and performance of wireless headphones, and the world's first audio augmented reality platform, all in one pair of sunglasses. Now do the Bose frames really have the same performance as wireless headphones or earbuds? Let's find out in the review. The first time I opened the glasses, I was happy to see that Bose put time and effort into the unboxing experience. The glasses are packed in a luxurious leather case that magnetizes shut. When you open the case, it unfolds to reveal the Bose frames. The case is very soft and I am a big fan of the gray lining inside the case. I think it gives the case an extra high-end appearance. When it comes to style, Bose nailed the design of the frames. They look like a regular pair of sunglasses. Granted, the arms are thicker and wider than a pair of regular glasses, but I was impressed with how Bose was able to fit such good audio in a pair of shades. The lenses that come with the Bose frames are UV resistant, but unfortunately they aren't polarized. There are other lenses available as optional accessories including a set of mirrored polarized or blue gradient which can be installed by simply popping the lenses out with light force. Prescription lenses are also coming in the future but aren't available quite yet. I was able to wear them for extended periods without them giving me any discomfort and they fold up just like any regular pair of glasses. If I had to say one negative about the style, the black frames can look a little cheap and too plain. But compared to other smart glasses, the Bose frames knocked them out of the park with style. When it comes to build quality, I haven't had any problems with the frames and lenses getting scratched or bent. I have been keeping these in the case whenever I don't wear them, which definitely helps. They also weigh 45 grams, which is about average for a pair of high quality sunglasses. They are IPX2 certified, which means they can withstand dripping water and you can take these on runs but I wouldn't recommend taking these to the swimming pool or beach. Overall, as long as you are decently careful with them, you should not have any problems. The frames are controlled by one small gold button on the underside of the right arm. Press the button once to turn the power on, pause or play, and accept or end a call. Double press to skip forward, and triple press to go back. Anyone who has used wireless earbuds before will be used to the same features. One amazing feature is that they turn off by simply turning the frame upside down for two seconds. I have had zero problems with the controls, but if you are wanting to turn the volume up or down, you will have to use your phone. I wish Bose would have included a volume button. The frames also support high quality AAC audio and the standard quality CBC. Surprisingly, there is a microphone which has worked very well for me. It picks up my voice clearly for the other end of the call, and Google Assistant and Siri is great. Keep in mind, people may think you're talking to yourself since you don't have any visible earbuds. Also, there were no noticeable lip sync issues, which made them great for watching videos. The Bluetooth pairing process is very easy. All you have to do is get the Bose Connect app and the glasses will pair. The app shows you the battery life and you can also play music from voice interaction 
with the augmented reality. The Bose frames have alright battery life, giving you just over 3 hours of continuous playing before they run dry. This is average with most wireless earbuds, but you don't have a charging case like most earbuds do. The charging on the Bose frames is average speed and has a magnetic USB cable that snaps on the inside of the right arm. I would have liked to see a battery inside the case that would charge the Bose glasses because it can be hard to remember to charge them. Now let's get to the part we've all been waiting for, the sound quality. Let me just say that these glasses sound surprisingly good for how small they are. Every time I put the frames on, I can't believe that Bose was able to have such good quality audio. There are two small speakers that rest in each arm of the glasses that sit just in front of your ear. The music is directed straight into your ear through small speaker grills. The crazy part is that you cannot hear the glasses when you aren't wearing them unless they are above 50% volume. Bose claims that cancelling sound is projected out into the world and there is only a sound leakage of about 1%. If you are around a lot of people and you have the glasses below 50% volume, people right next to you will not be able to hear it. I have had a lot of fun giving the frames to people and seeing the surprise on their face when they hear my music blasting when they put the glasses on. It's truly incredible. In terms of sound quality, the Bose frames sound very clear and precise, but lack bass. But the bass is expected to be lacking when you put speakers and sunglasses. The clarity definitely gives frames energy and warmth with excellent separation. If you start to listen above 85%, they do get a little blurry, but they sound pretty loud at that point. Personally, I have listened at about 70% on the street or while taking a run and about 40% when I am in quiet places. The one thing about the frames is that they can't keep the city noise out a whole lot and if you walk past a loud noise, you can forget hearing music. Overall, I believe the Bose frames have incredible sound for the size and I was very happy with the clarity and separation. Wrapping up the review, do the frames have the same performance as wireless earbuds or headphones? In terms of clarity and separation, the frames do very well against wireless headphones or earbuds, but the bass is definitely lacking and the noise cancellation isn't there. So if you are wanting to buy something purely on bass or noise cancellation, then I would recommend some wireless headphones. But if you don't care about bass and would rather have clarity and some sweet shades, then the Bose Audio Frame sunglasses are for you. Just like always, I have my links in the description below if you want to check these out. If you guys enjoyed the review, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate all the engagement possible. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in my next review. Peace.